everyone. Uh, this is Penelope Silver, and I am two weeks post-surgery. Um, things are going pretty well. It doesn't hurt as much. Um, I'm only taking like Tylenol as needed. Um, sometimes it still wakes me up in the middle of the night. Um, I'm pretty lucky that they had the, the ability to do the scope rather than a full-on opening, opening it up and fixing her. Um, so my healing is going to be a little bit faster because of that, thank goodness. Um, but you know, I'm still going to be four to six weeks before I'm able to put weight on it. I do have an appointment coming up on Monday to talk about, you know, more specifically when I'm going to be able to start physical therapy and things to expect coming up. So with that, um, as you guys know, two weeks ago, I reset all of my short term goals and I have added two short term goals back onto my list. One, the most important to me, is being able to shower alone. Right now, I need help getting into the tub. The tub edge comes up to my knee, and it is a struggle just to get into the shower. And, you know, I have to do the whole, I bought a thing off of Amazon to try to put over this. It doesn't fit over the heel, unfortunately. So we have to do the trash bag and duct tape method of keeping this guy dry. And um, that's worked most of the time. There was one time that it got wet in the back and that I had to sit here with a hair dryer and dry it. That was a fun day. But um, I would like to be able to take a shower without having to depend on somebody else to help me out with that. Um, next thing I think I can do pretty quickly is work on my single leg push-ups. I do find that one leg push-ups are harder than regular push-ups just because of that slight instability that you get with lifting the one leg up. So um, I think I can get 10 of them in a pretty short term. So that's uh, gonna be a goal that I'm gonna be focusing on coming up. And I'm kind of excited about it. And as far as my focus exercises that I try to do, I've put three on my list. I've gotten rid of all my other ones. And I started these on Wednesday. And these are gonna be toe curls, toe lick extensions, and then foot arch crunches. So toe curls are pretty easy, you know, you just curl your toes. Toe extensions, you just stretch them back out. So curl and extend. Um, foot arches, you're gonna try to get these little muscles to activate in here. And it's way easier to do it on the ground, but um, I'll probably do a video showing how to do that one day. Um, it's a exercise I learned when I was doing physical therapy. And I love sharing physical therapy exercises with other people who may not have uh, have seen them before and you know might find help doing something that's more of a mobility exercise than an actual strength exercise because um, but that helps get the blood flowing in there and helps with the healing the foot arch crunches kind of hurt a little bit more than the other so I try not to do too many of them and for a set I'm doing between five and seven right now and kind of as tolerated. Usually after do a set or two, I have to take some Tylenol or Motrin to kind of ease out the pain because, you know, it's not really used to moving after my surgery. Whoops. But yeah, things other than that are going pretty great. I do have a um, resistance band with me that I've been using. Um, I like to kind of do stretches across like, you know, kind of a seat belt thing. And after I do a few of those, then I keep my elbow locked and then put it more into my tricep. I also have one where I can loop it over my foot and extend it out and then do curls. Um, it also helps your grip strength to not have a necessary loop that you're pulling over. So it helps you make sure you're keeping that, that tight and taut. So um, I guess the point of all this is do what you're capable of, you know, there's always some little tiny exercises that you can set for yourself as a goal. So your goal doesn't have to be a huge thing. You don't have to say, hey, I'm going to run a marathon. I'm going to climb Mount Everest or anything crazy like that. Your goal can simply be like, hey, I'm going to do, you know, 10 wall push-ups three days a week this week. Or I'm going to do five toe curls seven days a week. So anything that helps you get closer to your goal, your big goal, make sure you make that as a little goal because little goals are so much easier to achieve. And the more you achieve goals, the more you're gonna to wanna to set more goals for yourself and the more you're gonna get that ball rolling. So keeping that momentum up is very important because, you know, 
we have those moments of motivation. Like, it's really hard to keep motivation at a high level. Eventually, that high motivation is going to drop off at some point, and it's really it's so much easier to maintain momentum than it is to maintain motivation. All right. Anyways, um, I hope you guys uh, got a little bit out of this for today. And um, if you are going through some sort of injury or healing, I really wish you the best in that. And, you know, stick around for next time. All right. And happy healing and bye.